Well, here we have it, folks. Part one of a ongoing saga that could prove to be quite an emotional roller coaster in regards to my golf. Um, here I am making my first few swings left-handed, and I must say that at first look, it doesn't actually look too bad. Um, there's a few things going on, obviously, that we need to work on, uh, and as we progress through this um, this winter, I'm sure we can improve on it. But considering I've never really swung a club left-handed before, I'm relatively happy with that as a starting point. And the worrying thing for me is that from down the line, it actually looks a touch better than my right-handed swing. So uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but anyway, we'll crack on with it as we go. So initially when I've been on flight scope, one thing I did notice that the angle of attack was quite random. Uh, when I hit down on the ball, as I did on this one, so I can see there I'm striking out in front of the ground. Uh, the angle of approach, the swing path was nicely from the inside. However, on occasion, I was moving back a little bit too much or not hitting down on it enough. So the upper centre had drifted back and as a result I miss hit it and also got an angle of attack whilst being very shallow, affecting the swing path that was getting that club to swing too much across the ball to the right. Looking at the backswing we can see that although the setup does need tweaking, both centres are lined up. However on the way back the upper centre drifts off to the left and I get too much spine tilt here away from the target. So almost like a traditional style of backswing where the upper centre drifts off and now I've got a lunge back in time to make solid contact. So what I'm going to try and do here is try and, as well as improving my ability to satisfy fundamental number one, which is solid contact, I'm also going to try and take a little look at improving the club head speed. When I was looking at it on flight scope, the club head speed was in the sort of mid-60s, which obviously if I'm going to play golf to any decent standard, left-handed has got to improve. And the first thing I'm looking at there is this drift off shows a lack of extension. So we can see here that the left knee has maintained its flex for a little bit too long on that swing. Now this shot from down the line was a little bit of a better shot, better quality of strike. You can see there that the left leg was straightening a little bit more. And although I can't see it, I would suggest that I've gone or stayed a little bit more centred on that one. Which has allowed me to attack the ball a little bit more from the inside. Backswing is quite short, and it's my hope that by improving my ability to extend from here to here, that's also going to free up the movement of my right arm. So the drill I'm going to work on is I'm going to spend a little bit of time this week with my left leg completely straight, ball back, weight more forward. I'm just going to try and improve my ability to stabilise my upper centre and extend during the backswing. Uh, keep your eyes out for forthcoming videos and I'll keep you posted as we go along.